Yeah, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are doing the. Um, we're trying to set up the uh, knee slice pass, okay? And uh, what happened in the situation is when I set up the knee slice, the purse steps the leg over, right? And then when the purse steps the leg over, especially in Ogi, we don't have the grips, sometimes it's hard for us to, you know, to pass, right? So what I'm going to do, when he steps the leg over, I'm going from the back door, okay? So the stack position, right? Let's check it out over here, what are we going to do? Um, I'm gonna start over here with Kennedy. I'm gonna walk on the side, and that's where I'm going to set up the knee slice over here. So I'm trying to come close and at least grab around his head and then do the knee slice. As soon as I get over here, can you shrimp out and he'll step the leg over. Just step this leg over here, can you there we go, over my shoulder and keep your frames please. Good. So now when he gets over here, I feel like it's harder for me to keep driving right the pressure right towards where the knee slice. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna switch. One, two, see? I wanna make sure, let me turn this way over here, because I wanna make sure I protect this arm over here, not get it caught, especially no gi. It's really fast. Gi, sometimes you can pull it out, but no gi, when you get a cut in triangle, it's really tight. And sometimes, the most of the time, it will tap. Because it's hard to escape, right? Because it's so fast. And then when you get it there, done, right? I mean, it's not impossible to escape, but we know when you get it there, it's, it's hard. It's a nightmare to escape, right? All right, so we wanna avoid that. Um, so I get in this position, he'll, you throw the leg over my shoulder. When he does that, I want to make sure I protect this arm over here. How do I do that? So see how I'm pushing the leg, now I want to protect. What I do, I bring the other leg. And if it goes for triangle, if something goes wrong over here, I feel like it is going fast, go ahead, what? I can fall, and my leg's gonna be in between his legs. Nothing's going to happen, all right? So, I mean, at least like, you know, he can get a sweep, he can sweep me, but he cannot finish me, right? Because he's coming this way, right? That's why I like to do this way, right? So once again, I was going here, and then as soon as I get the underhook, I protect my arm, right? Once I protect my arm over here, I wanna start stagging Kennedy. How do I do that? I go one, palm up, right palm down. I wanna get a double under. Pull Kennedy to my left, feet stopping out here. Now I'm gonna cross my arm right over the shoulder. As I cross my arm over the shoulder, I want to make sure I take both of my knees off the mat. Once I get over here, this end over here will support right his hip. I'm gonna stag Kennedy, stag, 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 and and again, especially no gi. Sometimes it's hard for us to establish the position. So what I'm looking now over here for this situation is to make Kennedy turn, right? To turn. When I push him, he wants to turn. Go ahead, Kennedy. When he turns, what I do, I want to fit this arm in. Watch. And now I can release my right arm. Now I want to keep pushing Kennedy on the side. Keep pushing, push, turn a second. Push, 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 and guess what? I'll have the seat belt over here. Once I get the seat belt over here, I'm going to drive the shoulder to the back of his head. Pit stopping out here. Pull Kennedy to my left. Pull the top hook. Shrimp in and put the bottom hook, right? Put the bottom hook, pit stopping out here for a second, and what I'm going to do, I'm gonna do it in one motion over here, I'm gonna grab his wrist, and as soon as I grab his wrist, I'm gonna attack his neck. Once I attack his neck, I'm going to push his arm down, step my arm over his arm, locked, right? Do not worry about to lock, right, to cross your feet right now here, because Kenny, he won't have, right, the leverage or the flexible, I mean, even like he's flexible, he's gonna throw the leg over and finish me in the foot lock over here, but before, before he does that, if he tries to throw his leg over right to my feet, what I'll do, I'll just go for the real naked choke over here, and I'll be able to finish, right? So again, I attack his neck, start applying the, applying the pressure, and I'll go for the real naked choke. And when I go for the real naked choke, I do not do this, right? You see the way I do? I just hide it, like the back of my hands goes to the back of his head, and I grab my biceps, and I'll be able to apply the pressure, and he'll tap right there, okay? So that's what we're going to do, the first one. So let's take a look again. So I'm going first, I go knee slice, right? Can you, will shrimp, when I feel like he shrimps out, he's gonna step the leg over. When he steps the leg over, what I do, I'll catch. Right, go ahead, Ken, one here, Two, and then now it's a fight over here. I get the double under, watch. Double under, 
And now just to practice, I'm gonna drop. Drop right my knees. And one thing over here, again, looks like simple, easy, and basic. Well, what I'm gonna tell you, but happens all the time. So I get too excited in this position over here. It's a great position for me. What I do, I do this. As it happens all the time. Come here, please. So look now, Ken is going to grab right my wrist. And as soon as I try to pick him up, all he needs to do, straight his legs. It happens all the time. No, we don't do that. What do we do? Now Ken is going to do exactly the same. Right, go ahead, Ken. Well, I'm pulling Ken into my lap. Right, now he won't be able to go ahead again. Uh-uh. Right, and I'm locking my elbows around his hip. Am I make sense for you? So, and again, we attempt to do this. Even like, you know, we know the technique. Go ahead. We do this. And sometimes we get it, and sometimes we won. And I say, why not get it this time? Because he knows how to counter. How? Push right my elbows and also straight his legs, and he'll be able to release. So, instead of doing this, what do we do? I pull him to my lap, pit stopping out here. Now my arm, look at the way I'm turning, right, my arm. I'm not going here. From this position, the one I have palm up goes across. Now something goes wrong over here, I go back again. Right, see, it looks like simple, right, this technique in base, but there's a lot of details right involved, right, in this technique. If I miss one, it's not going to happen. I won't be able to take his back or pass his guard. So I get over here, palm up, goes right across, watch, pit stopping out here. And I lock my elbow. Why are you locking your elbow? The reason I'm locking my elbow is to not let it can open, right, and bring this arm in. Now, pit stopping out here, support his leg, take my knees off the mat, support his hip with my right, left leg, grab on the hip, under, now I can drop my right knee. Ken wants to turn, but sometimes he's really flexible and he stays in that position. What I need to do, I have to deflect, to go on the side, watch. And this arm over here will fit in. Even like, you know, it's really flexible, what I do, I keep walking, watch. Walk, 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 walk. Now I turn and fit my arm in. Which like, you know, my right arm was making to turn, and then left, I fit in. Now what I do, go sit belt. Feet stopping out here. Next step, drop my shoulder to the back of his head, pull him to my left, pull the top hook. Feet stopping out here. Shrimp in. Pull the bottom hook, another pit stop. Now I'm going to roll, hold. Next step, I hold the wrist and also attack the neck. And one motion, one. One motion, attack, pit stopping out here. Throw my leg over his arm, release my arm, lock it right the other one. And the reason I like to do this is because every time I get in this position, sometimes you attack him, but he still can release his arm. But what I do, I lock right here. Now go ahead, Kenny. Now it's hard for me to release his arm, right? I'll gain a time over here, and I'll be able to attack his neck and finish on a real neck choke. Do you guys get it? Right, again, when you take the back, of course, we don't do this. We don't cross our feet, okay? But when I get right his arm, no problem. Go ahead again, watch. And I'll be able to attack his neck and then finish. Are you guys following me? Yeah? Are there any questions? Do you guys want to see it one more time or did you get it? You got it? You got it?